Welcome to this video on using the Power BI free apps in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. What I've got here is a completely standard trial version of Business Central. And what we see in the role center, if we just scroll down, is that we've got space to embed some Power BI reports. And these are now available within Power BI as um, bespoke apps. If I go to a particular page, this is the customers list page. select list view instead you see there's a space here for a custom app as well now if you didn't want to actually use the Power BI embedded reports you can actually remove that part of the fact box let's go to actions display and then show high Power BI reports although this is probably the wrong video for you if you don't want to use Power BI reports so if I just reactivate that Power BI reports fact box that's back in, but I now need to go and get a Power BI account and select the apps that I want to use. So here on powerbi.microsoft.com, if I click start free, and then just scroll down to the try free, I'm gonna sign up for the free account. I'm giving it the email address that's part of this demo environment. You just use your work email address, your Office 365 account address. Or you might need your Office 365 administrator to assign a Power BI license for you if you have already purchased those. So I just need to sign in now. I'm going to skip the invitations, but you could send invitations to Power BI to other people in your organization and then it should just activate my free trial or check if I've got a license already. Okay, so now I'm ready. So once Power BI sets itself up, um, what they did have before was free content packs for Dynamics Nav, for example. What they've done instead is an app. So I won't see the data set, the report or the dashboard. I just have one app that I activate and then can pull into Business Central. So here, this is a, a new Power BI account. There's nothing in it. The workspace is empty, no dashboards, no reports. What I want is the apps within this section. I need to click Get Apps and then pull through the ones for Business Central. So if I click Get Apps, it takes me into App Source, initially for my organization. So if I just click the Apps to see all the apps available in this marketplace. There is quite a few here, so it's worth using search. If I type in Business Central, I can narrow down what's available. So I can now narrow down what's available, and I can clearly see the ones for this application. Today I'm gonna to use the customer list, the finance app, and the vendors list. Three out of quite a few that you can try out. So to work this, click Get It Now, and it'll install that app into my Power BI for me. I need to tell it which company name I wish to work from in the database. So just to double check, it's Cronus UK Limited. Obviously I need permissions to work in that company. Then click Next. Um, it should authorize based on my credentials that are already in the system. Just check which account I wish to use. So I am Andy Person for the purpose of this demo. And then it makes the connection into Business Central and it sets up the app. So there we go. Once that finishes installing, that's just the first one. What I'm going to do is then go back in and get the other two apps. Then I'll activate it within Business Central. So that's just the first one. If I click Get Apps again, tell it I want to see all the apps from the whole marketplace. Again, filter it down so I'm not scrolling down for ages. There's a lot of apps here that are worth exploring. Today I'm just focusing on one set. I click Get It Now on the Finance app and it installs it into my Power BI. Again, give it the right company name. So Cronus UK Limited, in my case.
and that finishes installing. So third and final time, I need to just go and get apps. You can go another route rather than just click it from there and go into the general apps. If I just close that down, you can also use the get data function. Down the bottom left, click get data. On services, click get. And it takes me straight into the same place, into the all apps on app source. Okay, so just narrow things down again to avoid too much scrolling. Look for Business Central, and this time I want the Vendors List app. Click Get It Now, and it pulls it in. Tell it the company name that we need. Click Next. It's still got my credentials, so it should need to authenticate again. And now I've got my three apps that's just finishing installing. Okay, time to test them out. So, if we click on the Customer app first, we see what it presents. So, some nice out-of-the-box charts reporting the customer activity, which, as normal with Power BI, I can hover over, see the actual data, I can interact with it, start to explore the data. I can also click the Assist Edit and potentially export to Excel, or use the AI to ask a question about my data, start to get insights, or I can click the View Insights and have the AI generate some sort of suggestions to start off the analysis process. This is on the right hand side here as it completes that, that search and I can scroll down and see sort of the patterns that it's spotted within my data. Quite good as a starting point for your analysis. So if I come out of that, go back to apps and try out the vendors equivalent. Same idea, nice summary overview, interact with it, export your data. Finally, the finance app. So I've got a nice dashboard with all the separate visualizations available to me to play about with. So now if I go into Business Central and return to the role center and scroll down, it knows I've got a Power BI account, but I need to enable particular reports. So if I click the ellipsis, the assist edit, and go to select report, it offers me here all of the available ones, but actually customers and vendors doesn't work so well on the role center, the finance one will. So if I go up to edit list to let me enable it, tick enable, and then say okay. This will then pull that app through into my role center. There we go, I have the data there to interact with, just as if I was viewing it in Power BI itself. If I go back up and I go to the, event, the customers list page, and then do the same process, so if I click the drop down, select report, here I will find it's only one that's offered to me, because it's specific for this table, so I click edit list, I then enable that customers list app and say OK. And what I'll end up with is context sensitive. So for the line selected, the current customer, I'll have a filtered chart for that customer. And if I click to select a different customer, the chart will update, which is nice. If I return to the role center. So now if I head to the vendors list page, I do the same process. So click the drop down, select report. Again, only one available to me, the vendors app, edit list, then enable, and say OK. Now I find this easier to work with in the list view to move between the, the, the vendors. So change the view to list. But now I've got a list, I can click easily between those different suppliers. And again, the chart on the right hand side will update to give me our trading overview with that supplier. So that's three apps in place, the finance app, the customers app and the vendors app within Business Central.
all out of the box, no configuration needed. With any of those, obviously they're fairly small, a little, little part on the roll center at first. So if you want to really interact with that data, click the ellipsis, click expand report, puts you into not the dashboard, but the full report that is part of the app. You can tell you in the full report now because I have different pages at the bottom, which you wouldn't see in a dashboard. So I've got six pages there that I can choose between. So I can move between the pages using the tabs on the bottom and explore my data. So again, this is a free app from Microsoft as part of the, the Power BI app source. If I return back to app source, I've pulled three in as a quick demo here for you. But if I put the filter back into Business Central, you'll see there's at least three or four others that you could drop into this, such as covering items, covering jobs, covering whatever's relevant to your business, sales orders, for example, as well. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Keep an eye on this playlist. We're going to be adding much more to talk you through what you can do with Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central.